friends if you have two motors and to run these motors condition is if you turn on one motor then this motor must be turned on but this will remain on for particular time when time is completed motor will be turned off automatically and after some time this second motor here will turn on automatically it means if you have to run these motors alternately then how to do wiring of these contactors this is what we are going to learn through this video okay then let's start the video friends suppose you have two motors and to turn on and off these motors we are using contactors here and in the introductory part of my video i told you that motor we have we have to turn on and off motor for a particular time if you want to turn on any device for a particular time or want to turn off device for a particular time then to implement this work you have to use this type of timer this timer which you will use for making the circuit this must be inversal relay it means it is a kind of timer which is specially designed to turn on and off two motors by using normal timer also you can make the circuit but for that you have to use one more contactor separately I mean apart from these two contactors you have to use one more contactor or relay I am removing these contactors from here so that it will be easy for you to explain okay I want to do connection of this timer in a way that if I turn on the MCB then on turning on MCB timer must turn on connection of this is very simple what we have to do this MCB here at output terminal of MCB where we get phase supply with that terminal connect one wire Now power supply from this will go to A1 terminal of timer. At A1 terminal of timer, we have to provide phase supply. So take this wire and connect directly with this A1 terminal. Here I connected this wire. Now in this timer here at A2 terminal, we have to provide neutral power supply. For this, I am using a black wire. Take this wire and connect with neutral power supply. In this MCB at this output terminal I will get neutral power supply so I connected this wire and now in this timer with A2 terminal here you can see A2 is written so with this terminal I am connecting other end of this wire now when I turn on this MCB you can see in this timer here one indication started blinking it means timer started working now what we have to do through this timer we have to turn on these contactors So how to turn on these contactors let's understand First of all turn off the power supply In many of my videos I told you that contactor we use if we want to turn on this contactor then for turning on contactor A1 and A2 terminals of contactor like here you can see A1 is written and here A2 is written So to A1 and A2 terminal you have to provide phase and neutral supply then your contactor will turn on As I told you through this timer we have to turn on this contactor so through timer only power must be supplied to contactor so through these two terminals of timer we will turn on this contactor after this these two terminals will be used to turn on this contactor so how to do this let's understand first of all what we have to do in this timer at two number terminal we have to provide phase supply if we want we can loop phase supply from one number terminal or through mcb also we can provide phase supply directly so here i am using a red wire take this wire and with phase supply terminal connect this wire now through this wire power supply will go to this timer at two number terminal two and three number terminal of this timer is no contact so what i will do i am connecting this wire directly with two number terminal now here power supply which i provided loop a wire from here and in this timer to another no contact This five and six number terminal here are also no contact. So what I will do through a wire, I will provide phase supply. Now power supply through this wire will go to no contact of this timer. With another no contact, I have to connect the wire. Now through three number terminal of this timer, we will provide phase supply to this contactor. So I am taking a wire and connecting this with three number terminal. Now from here, power supply will go to a one terminal of contactor. The way we provided phase supply through no contact of timer to turn on this contactor similarly through another no contact of timer we will do the connection to turn on this contactor for this i am using this wire and in this timer with six number terminal i am connecting this wire from this wire power supply will go to this contactor we have to connect this wire with a1 terminal now to operate these contactors we have to provide neutral power supply also for this what we will do this mcb here with neutral point of mcb connect one wire 
If you want neutral power supply which was provided to this timer here, you can loop wire through this. But through MCB, I will provide neutral power supply. So at this point, I connected one wire and in this contactor with A2 terminal, A2 terminal is here. So with this terminal, I connected other end of wire. Now with same wire, I am looping another wire so that I can provide neutral power supply to this contactor also. So only this much connection you have to do. Along with this, how to do programming in timer, I will explain you this also. For programming in this timer, total 4 knobs are given. With the help of these two knobs, we do programming for on time. And through these two knobs, off time programming is done. Keep one thing in mind here, we can turn on these two contactors only for same time. For example, if you do the programming of 10 minutes for this contactor to remain on, then this contactor will also turn on for 10 minutes. How to do programming? Let's understand. For programming of on time, first of all we have to select time range, that is for how much time we want this to be on. Here 10 seconds, 100 seconds, 10 minutes and 100 minutes time we have. Which time range you want, you can do that selection. Suppose I need to turn on motor for 10 minutes. Then I will select time range of 10 minutes here. Right now I have to explain you. So for explaining, I am selecting time range as 10 seconds. Above this knob, there is one more knob through which you can set the time. In this knob, I selected 10 seconds time range. So programming which I will do here will be maximum of 10 seconds. For now, I am selecting 5 seconds here. That is my motor will turn on only for 5 seconds. Ok, let us set this as 10 seconds also. So I selected 10 seconds here. After this, I have to do programming for off time. The way I did programming here, same we have to do here. First of all, we will select time range here. I selected 10 seconds time range here. After this, I am setting off time as 5 seconds. Ok, so how to do programming in this timer, you understood. Now what we will do, turn on this MCB. When MCB is turned on, you saw this motor is turned on. Motor will remain on for 10 seconds because we programmed the time as 10 seconds here. When 10 seconds is completed, contactor turn off. Till 5 seconds it will be off. After this, second motor is turned on. Now this motor here will remain on for 10 seconds. When 10 seconds is completed, it will again turn off. When this turned off, after 5 seconds, second motor will again turn on. It means motor runs for program time and the time we programmed for turning off, for that time motor remain off. So by using this timer, you can turn on and off two motors or if you want to run a single motor in reverse forward direction, then for that also you can use this timer. Friends if you want to know the difference between on delay timer and off delay timer, then click on the right hand side video to watch. If you like this video, give like on my video. If you are new to the channel, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.